hi everyone welcome back in today's video so in this video we shall be talking about the symptoms of intestinal parasites so what are intestinal parasites so these are organisms which live inside of your body so they feed on what you have already eaten as a food so we have different types of intestinal parasites for example we have the giardiasis that is the giardia lambia we also have the intermeope histolytica we have roundworm weebworm ferritworm or ascariasis so in this video we shall be discussing 10 early signs of intestinal parasites which you should never ignore so the first symptom of intestinal parasites we have is digestive problems so an explained constipation diarrhea gas bloating or nausea can be a sign of parasitic infection by nature intestinal parasites take root in your gastrointestinal tract they cause your immune system to react and you will get different symptoms based on the organism many symptoms of indigestion are often confused with ibs that is irritable bowel syndrome doctors don't necessarily check patients for this infection as prostatic infection are not very common at times the local routine lab tests also done do not show any helpful so only more sensitive tests like the ig map can identify if you are having unusual symptoms of intestinal prostates so the second symptom is we have is chronic fatigue or absorption so prostates are tough on your body they can lead to feelings of fatigue and exhaustion that can result in mood changes depression personality shifts headache and memory issue with feeling of apathy certain intestinal parasites like jabdia can actually cause chronic fatigue syndrome that can lead to deficiency and malabsorption of essential nutrients like iron and vitamin b12 in the body it can lead to feeling of lethargy and tightness that have no reason and affect your routine to a great extent so the third symptom is we have is a skin disease and issue a skin irritation mysterious rashes high vis rosacea or eczema can be a sign of intestinal parasites so if you are having itching rashes and high vis without significant improvement even after over the counter treatment it may be same it may be symptoms of intestinal parasites so the mechanism behind skin disease is a bit complex intestinal parasites can stimulate the production of immunoglobulin that is ige antibodies produced by the immune system it can then produce allergic reaction in your body including skin problems that do not seem to have any source so the fourth symptom is we have is muscular and joint pain so bursitis can invade the joint space and muscles and release inflammatory toxins that affect normal movement and a range of motion you may feel muscular pain and joint pain if you are suffering from a bursitic infection so trichinosis caused by a type of ramwam is a bursitic disease that occurs by eating undercooked or raw meat that contain larva or immature worms these worms can make their way to your stomach through the food and result in joints and muscular being full. Aging muscles or joints that do not get better with over-the-counter treatment indicate the presence of the intestinal prostitutes. So the fifth symptom we have is anemia. So prostitutes can start eating your red blood cells or lead to loss of blood through the stool which can cause blood loss and result in iron deficiency anemia brassitis feed on the blood of the host tissue leading to the loss of iron and protein and a deficiency of red blood cell in the body so these worms feet need to survive and they do not let it at their own expense loss of blood can make you feel exhausted as there's not enough blood in the body to support its normal function so the sixth symptom is we have is lack of satisfaction after meals another sign of prostatic infection is that you will never feel satisfied or full after meals this feeling is followed by a weight loss on the other hand nausea and gas are common symptoms of that reduce hunger levels so many people joke about how they must be having an intestinal parasite if they feel hungry all the time but this can be a real symptoms of parasitic infection tap worms can hatch on your stomach and feed on what you eat and this means you're always hungry for more you will not feel satisfied or full even after eating your meal regularly so the seventh symptoms we have is itchiness 
Parasitic infection can cause itching. Some parasites also dig tunnels under your skin and lay eggs in them, which leads to itching. Specific parasites like pinworm can produce localized itching, while they can also cause itching around your anus. As they are recognized as dangerous invaders by the body, the immune system produces immunoglobulin, that is IgE, antibodies that travel to the cells and release chemicals causing an allergic reaction. So the eighth symptom is we have is bruxing. So what is bruxing? Bruxing is grinding your teeth in sleep and also indicates the existence of parasite in the body. This condition is also known as bruxin, so the toxins released by the intestinal parasites can lead to anxiety. These toxins interact with your neurotransmitters leading to mood wings, nervousness and grinding of the teeth at night. If you grind your teeth while sleeping or wake up with clenched teeth in the middle of the night, you may be suffering from bruxin. So this is another symptom of intestinal parasites. So the ninth symptom of intestinal parasites we have is insomnia. You may have tribal falling asleep or wake up several times during the night. It's because of the parasites can cause physical discomfort or because it is a nocturnal pest that is active during the night. You will find a disturbance in your sleep pattern without noticing anything different in your regular habit. So insomnia, insomnia is another warning sign of intestinal parasites in which you should never ignore. Is the tenth symptom is we have is bloating. An intestinal parasitis can lead to build up of extra gas in your gastrointestinal tract, which may result in bloating. So the parasite Jabdelambia can cause bloating with distended stomach, which becomes a nuisance if you don't get it treated. So the seriousness and length of your symptoms vary with a specific parasite. Complications happen more often in older people and people who already have serious illness. It's entirely positive to have a parasite in your stomach, but no symptoms at all. Healthy care experts believe that not everyone will have the same signs or react the same way to a parasite. People infected with a prosthetic worm as caries, for example, usually have no symptoms. So these are the most common symptoms of intestinal parasite which you should be aware of. So if you feel these symptoms, you have to visit a doctor and get bronchial treatment for you to escape from complication of intestinal parasites. So thanks for your watching. Have a nice day.